I'm the current project coordinator of the Android and Unity sub-team of this VIP BTAP group of Spring 2022. Along with Marie, Sharon, Saidia, Koshika, and Amal, we have been responsible for implementing the two projects of this semester. The first project, the Laplaka project, is a dual-task trainer that runs on an Android application and a Heroku web application that functions to diagnose concussion symptoms in patients with recent head injuries. And the way how it works is that the web application will be shown to the user and a clinician or an administrator will push the necessary instructions from the Android application onto the web application. This will hopefully improve the efficiency at which concussion symptoms are being diagnosed. And secondly is the meditation app in collaboration with the NeuroSky sub team. This app will help a user to focus on a word, sound, or a set of instructions based on their preferences to help them with their, with their meditation needs. And in the long term, we are planning to leverage the NeuroSky API to allow for the device to measure the pre- and post-meditation score of the user. As the project coordinator, I have been responsible for coordinating the tasks and deadlines of this team. I have been the main representative when it comes to liaising with Data Laplaca and the NeuroSky sub-team. I hosted and conducted the weekly meetings and pair programming sessions, managed the group channels, and being the main initializer and final reviewer of all of our projects and milestones. For the tutorials, I proposed a change in the tutorial format to shorten it and to give Sadia, our new member of our team, a more hands-on training with our projects. After completing the short tutorials that I gave her, I conducted multiple pair programming sessions to allow her to learn the Android Studio and React Native skills with me on the Bluetooth call. For the Laplaca project, I have been personally responsible for adding the new text input requirements in the front end and back end, along with a back end restructure of the Firebase database to allow for a multi layered JavaScript object tree to allow for a more efficient data management system. I also proposed a redesign of the app using Sharon's code and the Figma design of our last semester to make it more more aesthetically pleasing and more functional for the user. I implemented temp the template code for our teammates to use and standardize our codes and I have also redesigned most of the screens and published the second iteration to Dr. Laplaca's team. And finally for the meditation app, I have been responsible, for, been responsible for initiating the React Native project and the Firebase authentication backend. I supervised the tutorials and pair programming sessions for my team members. I made the template screens to help them with, with their learning of React Native and I pushed 90 out of the 104 commits of this project. After implementing the, the recommendations from Jenny, I published the first iteration of this project. Hi, my name is Marie Newman, and this is my portion of the final presentation. One of the major contributions that I've made this semester regards the LaPaca project, the clinical app more specifically. I implemented a feature to allow the administrator to store the participant's name and ID within the clinical app. In order to do this, I updated the assessment setup screen demonstrated on the left-hand side within the clinical app to take in input for the participant ID and participant name. I completed the backend code needed to store information in the database. Also, I wanna note that the participant name can be stored in case this is useful for the administrator at all, but also the purpose of the participant ID being stored is to provide a way for the participant's information to be encrypted and also to store information in a way that would comply with HIPAA requirements. The second contribution that I made regards the research app. The feature involves redesigning the SCAT test screens to match the Figma design, which can be seen on the left-hand side. Two major benefits of this redesign is that the new design is more aesthetically pleasing. As you can see, the new design involves more color than the old design does. And the second benefit is that the blue rectangle bars under the text scroll if any is not visible makes the new design more intuitive because it lets the user know that there are more trials remaining and gives the user a better idea of how they're progressing through the assessment. I also redesigned the best test screens. A sample image is shown on the left hand side. Benefits of this new design include that placing the number of errors in the center of the plus and minus sign helped to signal to the user that the minus and plus signs correspond to the numbers shown in the middle and should be used to 
update the number. And this can be seen on the left hand side where the images are shown on the right image of the two images. In the old design, the plus sign and minus sign are further away from the number of errors, making the old design less intuitive. Another contribution that I made this semester regards the meditation app. I developed two of the exercise screens. Different components of the screens contribute to the meditation app being easier to follow. Number one, each screen demonstrates movements that the user should imitate that contribute to meditation. Number two, each screen includes a short description of the movement. And number three, these screens also include a 20 second timer at the bottom to time each pose. Images are shown on the left. I also developed the deep info screen. Different components of this screen also contribute to the meditation app being easier to follow. The one component that I want to highlight here is that each instruction is clearly outlined line by line on the deep info screen as shown on the left hand side. I also incorporated a feature that allows the user to navigate to the home screen after hitting the pause button. More specifically, once the user hits the pause button, a pop-up display is giving the user the option to navigate to the home page. A sample image slash demonstration of this is shown on the left hand side. If the user hits the pause button, then the pop-up that says pause will display, prompting the user to select yes or no regarding whether or not they want to navigate to the home page. If they hit yes, then the home page shown on the right and lastly hand side of the two images will pop up if they hit no then the general screen from which they hit the pause button will show up hello hello my name is sadia akhtar and i'm a new member to this project i started out with doing android tutorials using udacity here is one of the apps that i built on android studio um, i'm running this app on my phone so they can see a better working of the app so it's a weather app called sunshine that shows a user the weather for each day of the week i'm able to scroll see the temperature along with the temperature there are these icons that shows the user if the weather is going to be clear or it's not it's going to be rain um, on the right hand corner, we have two options. One of the options takes us to Google Maps right here. Um, then we can go back to the main screen. The other is going to settings. So we have two options. Um, one is location. It will basically, we can just, you know, I can just put in my location. The other one is temperature units, it shows a user two types, temperature units metric or imperial um then going back to the main screen um we i can click on a specific day that gives the user more information like humidity pressure and that's about it for the app um next i use these skills to even redesign the ui of our of uh the dual dual trainer app. So here's the before redesign and after redesign. And moving on to the meditation app, I use React Native. I learned React Native and the skills I learned, I used it to design two of the screens, the front end. I worked on the front end. The one is the, the, the this exercise screen. The other one is guided breathing. Um, and I also added a functionality to one of the buttons, the question mark button right here. And basically this is the, so when I click on the question mark, it takes us to the next screen, which is like the guide on how to do this position. So I hope to use React Native in the future semesters uh, to contribute more to our current project. Um, and yeah, that would be all, thank you. Hi, my name is Kushika Mohan, and this is my second semester in this VIP. I began the semester by completing the CITI IRB training, and this consists of two courses, and there are four main takeaways from this. One, the ethics of conducting research. Two, data management, such as handling and protecting private data. Three, mentor relationships. And four, the importance of training. After completing my training, I began work on our first project, the La Plaka project, and more specifically, I worked in UI redesign. I redesigned some screens to match the original UI design in Figma, and I fixed some screens so that they remain consistent with the theme of the rest of the screens in our app. Here's an example of a screen I designed on Figma. This is for the consent description page, which I also implemented in our app.
and it scrolls to the bottom. I did the same for the activity consent form page and for the activity sign consent page and the activity word learn page. I fixed them so they remain consistent with the theme that the rest of the screens in your app follow by such as changing the layout, font, etc. After completing our first project, we began work on our second project, which is a Neurosky project. And for this, I had to learn JavaScript, so I completed some tutorials. And here are some examples of that. In the first example, I learned how to attach a script to a web page. In the second example, I learned how to write functions and function calls. And in the third example, I learned how to create and use objects. I also had to learn how to use React Native, so I completed some tutorials for that. And here are some examples. In my first tutorial, I learned how to create my first class and how to create and use components. In another tutorial, I learned how to create and use props and states. And in another tutorial, I learned how to use classes with other classes. After completing my tutorials, I was able to begin actual work on our project, which was to implement the design of the screens on Figma to our meditation app. And I used the example of the welcome page to help me with that for the Excel 2, Exercise 5, and Favorite page. And overall, I learned a lot this semester. Hello, this is Sharon Kim, and I will be presenting about my contribution to the VIP project this semester. So I had a very big change in teams this semester since I switched from UX team to Android team to gain more coding experience. I worked mainly as a front-end developer as I had the advantage of having UI UX knowledge and skills. So we worked on two big projects this semester, one being the LaPlaca app, um, which was on Android Studio. And since I had some knowledge in Android Studio, I was able to work on the project itself from the beginning. So I redesigned and edited the front end of the Placa project application as a front end developer. So this meant changing fonts, text sizes, components, button radius, color, images, input field, and text field. And I also learned Git, GitHub and Git plugin to share my code with my other teammates. So this is a Git plugin screen, and in Git plugin you can push the code and and in Android Studio, you can see the screen that I'm changed on the right. And I worked on the XML file as I'm a front end developer working the designs of the applications. The second project we worked on was Meditation App, and this app was on React Native. And since I didn't have any knowledge in React Native, I had to learn the basics of React Native, including syntax, structure, components, and state. And I learned the basics of React Native through my teammates, especially Ferris, and also I learned through um, YouTube tutorials in my free time. So I designed and implemented screens from the Figma design that we already had, and also I debugged and troubleshooted issues with React Native and Expo So you um, run the app using, uh, you code the app using React Native, but you run the app through Expo Go on your phone. So this is the code for the meditation app. Since the meditation app is in React Native, I worked on the JavaScript file, especially the front end part of the code. Thank you.